What's up guys, I'm Corzy from Game Legit bringing you some Halo Reach beta footage. Remember this is the beta, this is not the demo. Keep that in mind, there's a large difference between a beta and a demo. The beta is the unfinished, getting polished game. Um, the reason why they launched us is launched this is for us to play it and point out everything we don't like about it and give our two cents and uh, that's the reason why. Ben the Magnifis is the shout out for this video. He's actually really close to me as far as uh, he he was one of my first subscribers and then he like looked in my profile and where it lists you know where I live and uh, some just personal information on my YouTube channel and uh, he was like I realized that I live just a couple miles away from you which is absolutely insane out of anybody and everybody that's on YouTube and randomly found my channel he living a couple miles away found me but anyways, he wrote, okay guys, I see your point with the DMR, but remember this is the beta, the point of this is to find things that don't work, like the DMR, and tell Bungie. And that's Lost the point, I'm the sorry lead. I didn't say that last Tied video, the but this is the beta, the feedback, this feedback's needed and wanted for this beta, um, you're supposed to go to Bungie.net, go to the forum labeled Halo Reach Feedback, and then post threads and responses to other people's comments and things that uh, they don't like or say that need to be changed. Or things they do like because um, this is the beta this is not the refined game this beta is only going to the 19th and the game doesn't launch till September 1st and so they're taking a massive amount of time to uh, put a lot of changes and program uh, stuff into this something that uh, Modern Warfare 2 never did because they're cocky bastards and uh, they thought that their game was so perfect and so well tested that when it launched uh, people wouldn't hate it and they would just love it anyways um, I'm not going to talk any more about things I don't like about it because uh, really what breaks down is that this they're all biased opinions. Whether you like this game or not, it is going to be a biased opinion. Um, it just face the facts. It's what you know. As long as you enjoy it, you enjoy it. And that's, that's what it is. And so from that standpoint, I'm just going to go straight to in-game walkthrough and tutorial for what I think will make you successful in the game as is. The things you want to focus on are the DMR and pistol, but I suggest using the pistol as a secondary, and if you can, find and locate a DMR and use that as your primary. Now, I realize the DMR is not supposed to be used for up-close battles, but I win DMR over pistol like 9 out of 10 times. The pistol is way too squirrely, like, and the clips are so short that the DMR has an advantage on that. And even though, or even with the bloom when you're up close, uh, even with the bloom you'll still hit the person in the body whether or not you're gonna get a headshot that's up for debate but the DMR I think is the uh, is the go-to weapon so far in Halo Reach outside the power weapons also things you want to pay attention to and notice is that um, where I am moving around the map I'm not ever on that bridge or making runs through that bridge just because at any point uh, in the map you can see that point of the bridge and so it's just like a hit marker zone you don't want to be in those points of the map you just want to be kind of elusive and you make in paths that maybe uh, provide more cover or are not ones that people typically make becoming cheeky is key into games like this um, Right, right there, this is display. You'll see it a couple of times. Nades in this game are absolutely insane. And I can almost guarantee you they will be nerfed by the time this game launches because people don't like them. I think they're okay because of how weak the DMR and the pistol are. Uh, because it takes so long to kill somebody, the nades become kind of like a primary weapon. And I also, I guess, will suggest right now that you locate where the nade nades spawn at and go pick up extra ones if you're playing a Slayer Pro, Pro or if you uh, run out of them because they're so deadly. Perfect example right there. Um, it would probably have taken 5 seconds, 10 seconds to kill that guy uh, just with the DMR battle, you know, going one on one. But with the nade, it just, you know, completely eliminated the battle and basically made it like a two shot game. And that's what the nade should be used for. And when you use them like that, you'll be beating guys, you know, 24 7. You will not be getting double kills, triple kills, quad kills without people um, not having their shields down. It just will not happen. This is not Halo 1. You don't have a three shot pistol, which I wish this game had. Um, wah, but it doesn't. And so if you want to be getting those double, triple, and kill tacks, then you need to be. Uh, 
overkills, whatever. You need to be using your nades also to drop several guys' health at a time. And the nades have a huge splash. Like the, there, there's a very nice long distance uh, shot in use of the DMR. Um, yeah, the splash in the nades, which what, what I mean when I say splash is the radius of the explosion, is ginormous. Like, I'll have full bar health and be, like, completely down a hall, and a guy will throw, like, a nade into the door I just ran through, and it will kill me. They're ridiculous. Um, they're just crazy. And so I, I think they'll change, but as far as this beta goes, you need to be using those freaking nades. Um, yeah, I, I can't emphasize that enough. Nades are massive in this game. There's a couple of factual things as you see me moving around the map. Pay attention to how I'm moving around the map. Um, but some little things that have changed in this Halo Reach compared to other Halos. You can melee and uh, counter a sword. Not really counter it, but prevent yourself from being a one-shot kill. And so if you time a melee right when someone swings his sword, you actually block it and prevent your, yourself from being killed. And your shields both drop, and then you can actually shoot the guy with this, or that has the sword in the head really fast and finish off a kill. I actually like that. It's a pretty nice touch, because the sword is typically overpowered, and people that use it, like camp out hardcore and watch doors and like elevators and lifts and stuff um, and so it's kind of nice to have a sensible defense to that this is the pro tube um, this is a very well balanced gun in my opinion because you can kill people easily with one shot but as you can see right here I put tons of shots over by this guy and I think I, I thought I was hitting him like you know from this point in this perspective it looks like the explosions are like right on top of them but I, I can't Five finish minutes. the freaking guy off and so you have to either hit a guy dead on or have the nade blow up right in the guy's face you also if you hold the trigger you can time the explosions so that they won't explode right off the bat this is an example of that you just shoot him right in the head it's a one-hit kill instantly dropped his shields this is one thing I think they need to change um, I hate it when games limit you and I always say that and when you switch weapons it takes like a half second for you to be able to actually shoot that weapon and so if you have a holstered shotgun or something like that and you're keeping it holstered because you don't want people to know you have it and then you pull it out for like the surprise attack it's actually not gonna work because it takes a half second or a second for you to actually be able to fire the damn weapon and what you saw earlier, I used that pro tube, dropped his shield, went to switch over to my DMR, and I clicked the trigger like three times, um, and I died before the weapon even fired. And that's extremely annoying to me. Of course, you can gaming legit. God bless. Love you guys. Subscribe, comment. You know the routine. Peace.